Zendesk QA's assignment feature allows you to fully automate the ticket discovery and distribution process, giving you more time to provide feedback and coach your agents. To set up your review assignments, head to the assignment section of your workspace settings and click to create an assignment. Give your assignment a name. We recommend creating multiple assignments for different purposes. For example, having a regular weekly assignment that focuses on providing your agents with a certain number of reviews each week, and another that assigns you tickets where the customer left a negative CSAT score, or where churn risk was detected. Next, decide how often it should occur. You can choose from a one-off assignment, daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Finally, choose the date and time the assignment should be created. Next, you need to select who will be performing the reviews. You can make use of Zendesk QA groups to simplify this step. For example, you could create a group containing your reviewers to save you needing to select them all individually. Now you can decide who it is you are reviewing. You can choose between your human or AI agents. You can use Zendesk QA's groups again or select the agents individually. Finally, decide which participant in the conversation you are wanting to review between the most active agent, the participant, or the assignee. You can also use your workspace default setting, which you can select in the general tab of your workspace. Now you need to decide which segment of tickets you are wanting to include in the assignment. First, you must select a date range that the tickets will be assigned from. If you're doing weekly reviews, it makes sense to review tickets from the previous week. Click the toggle to view all the filter conditions. Here you have access to all of Zendesk QA's filter options, including Auto QA and Spotlight. This means you can focus your reviews on the most relevant tickets to review. We recommend using the filters to find tickets where the AI has found something worthwhile investigating. For example, assigning tickets where churn risk has been detected, or ones where agents have been scored negatively by the AI, are usually more worthwhile to review than randomly assigned tickets. The last step is to decide how many conversations you want to be assigned. You have two options regarding the assignment goal approach. You can either create a shared pool of tickets, meaning all of your reviewers will have access to all assigned tickets, and as a team, they must collectively review them all. Alternatively, you can choose to assign each reviewer a specific segment of tickets, and each reviewer needs to complete their individual list. The number of conversations assigned can be determined by the review goal. Here, you can select that all reviewers must collectively review either a percentage of the total tickets found or a specific amount of tickets. You can also set the goal so that each reviewer has a specific amount they need to review or that each agent receives an equal amount of reviews. Additionally, in the advanced settings, you can specify the minimum amount of reviews each agent should receive. If you have reviewers who also participate in your conversations, you can decide whether they can be assigned their own conversations or not. Finally, you can select whether your reviewers are able to skip and replace tickets that they have been assigned. As you build out your assignment, the panel on the right hand side will update and let you know how many conversations you have that fit your conditions, so you can see if you need to make any adjustments before publishing your assignment. Once created, you can find your assignments in the task section of Zendesk QA. Your reviewers simply need to open the assignment and they can track their progress and review their assigned tickets. Reviewers have the option to replace a ticket if needed. They must leave a reason for doing so, which you can track in the assignments dashboard. To leave a review, your reviewers simply need to click the review panel. You can click the info button to view the assignment details. This is also where you can reassign cases between reviewers if needed, for example, if one reviewer is off sick. You can track your team's progress in the dedicated assignments dashboard. Here, you can easily see which reviewers are behind in their targets and be sure that you are achieving your goals. Here is also where you can track the reasons as to why a reviewer replaced or removed a conversation from the assignment. If you notice this occurring often, it likely means you should reconfigure your assignment conditions so that you are only being assigned the most relevant tickets for review and get the most out of your QA program.